Okay, so if you guys didn't actually catch where this was, so if I just zoom out, I'll show you guys. So we have the airport just here, we have the tourist harbour right here, uh, we have the island, we have the port, the port town, um, we have the lake town, which is actually quite a big area, and um, we have the city over here. So this area here, it's pretty much what I want to work on today. There's not really much in this area, there's only pretty much just buildings and roads. Other than that, there's nothing really going on, so we need to go through like the whole area, fix up what we can, and I want to show you guys the different tips that I know for fixing up an existing area and the actual um, the order of fixing up those those areas, the tips in that order. So, okay, so let's just pretty much have a look at what we have uh, right here, right now. So all of this is residential, all of, all of the really wavy parts because. Uh, if you look at the terrain, actually, I don't know if the terrain will show you, but it's quite hilly. There's a lot of weird little shapes in here, so I w really wanted to work with those shapes just to create something a little bit more different rather than doing a grid system like this. So these areas follow the wavy terrain, except for the main roads. I couldn't be bothered to make them too crazy. So, um, so we got uh, this little industrial space right here, close to the highway, so easy access. Uh, this area here, I said I was already going to do that in the airport video, so this is just a whole lot of office spaces, and um, they seem to be doing really, really well in this area. So, and then, so of course, once I had built these two, there was a huge demand for residential, that, so that's when I filled in these whole areas right here. Um, current population, 12,000 for this area, which is, I don't know why it's so large, because, for example, this neighborhood here, this district, it's quite big and it's 11,000 so I don't know why this neighborhood is saying it's so high there must be some kind of glitch because before when I checked it said 15,000 so I don't know what's going on with that so right now there's no schools there's no education there's no public transport there's nothing at all so we need to go through fix up all of that um, there's a huge demand for transport in this area so the tips that I really wanted to talk about is it kind of goes something like this so first you want to look at the transport so you want to implement the transport and then from that that'll show you where you need to add in pathways and um, it'll just tell you where they need to walk to and then from that that'll tell you where you want to put in the commercial because obviously shops are going to want to pop up next to um, the bus stations bus stations because obviously there's going to be a lot of people in that area so then from that that'll tell you which roads you need to upgrade and which other facilities like um, like other buildings that have high capacities that you might need in the area or um, like managing traffic lights so then from that that'll show you where there's more heavier traffic and where more sound barriers are needed so more trees to act as a sound barrier pretty much all it was is first you do public transport and then the public transport will tell you where you need to put the pathway connections from the pathway connections it tells you where you want to put the commercial and leisure buildings or leisure areas from that it tells you which roads or other facilities needs to be upgraded from that it shows you where the heavier traffic is and it tells you where there's more noise pollution and then from that you implement more sound barriers or and things similar to that so that's what we'll be doing in this video uh, those are real techniques that are used here in Australia I don't know about elsewhere but um, so yeah that is what I'll be following today and it's a pretty useful technique actually so all we all we've got in this area is this existing bus line here that goes to about here and then there's this one here for the airport as well so I was thinking should I put in a tram through here but I didn't want to because of the roundabout connections it would create just a little bit of an issue for the roundabout because I'd have to put it straight through and then obviously if cars are going around they'd have to stop and wait for the tram so um, probably not going to do that unless I make it go some kind of other way maybe along here this road and then it can go it can go through the office area along the main um, boulevard here and then I don't know maybe up through here then can connect up through there to the train I don't know but first of all I'm just going to put in the bus line and we'll see how busy the bus line gets first so I might make well we have this here so why don't we add in a new bus line that starts from this ferry terminal. Um, it can stop at this existing one, stop there. 
I might move that train as well because it's right next to the cemetery. So I might add in a bus stop here. So it's following this main road through here. Um, and then it can stop by these ones here, stop by this office space. From here, where should it go? I could probably make it go to about here. Okay, that's fine. So there's one more stop here, and then I put one there. Um, and then they can really easily just walk straight up into the airport, or they can catch this bus here that goes directly into the airport. Um, and then from there, I could make it... Okay, that's fine. So it just goes up around, comes back around, and it'll follow the same way that it came. So that's just keeping it very neat. And then I'm just going to follow this main road down here, connecting at these ex existing bus stops, and then... There we go, so that is connected like that, and I might just change the colour of that one, just so we can see... Uh, where is it? So I'll change that to like that orangey colour, just so we can see. Okay, and now we need one that kind of goes up here somewhere, so... So this one I might start here just um, just as a starting point. So it'll start here, so if they want to meet, um, that's where they will meet. And then it can go up along this mo main road here. So that will help with the offices and the industrial space right there. Um, put another one here, another one maybe here. I think that's okay. Um, and then I might actually bring it up here just to help facilitate these guys up here. Um, I'm not... I'm not sure why it's saying it wants to go all the way up there. That's really weird. Because look what it's saying. It's like, it's telling me it has to go all the way down there. That's so weird. Uh, okay, I'll put it there, I think. Because you don't want to put it too close to the roundabout because it's obviously going to disrupt cars coming off the main road, so... And then, why not just make it go up through this whole industrial area because obviously they're going to need to get up there for work probably um, is this a main road what's going on here I guess I'll go like that I don't know and then I can probably connect it onto that one there so that's helping like add more connection and then I guess I'll bring it back the same way that it came so straight along here along here like that another one there there and then, like that. Is this going to be okay? See how it goes... What is this one that goes in a little bit? I don't know. Hopefully it's fine. We'll see in the future. So, we've added in some very generic bus lines. So we'll see how many people are actually waiting at these uh, bus lines. Because if there's a lot, then obviously we need to add in different types of transport. Um, so right now, it seems to be okay. There's a bush right there we'll just move that bush back a little there we go so these ones are okay uh, okay this these ones are getting really busy so maybe we need to add in something else here I'm not sure actually I don't really like this type of road for buses because it they have to stop on the actual lane so I might add in a special lane this one but this is four lanes so we go like that it adds in the special bus lane so it's the bus lanes when like when they when the buses want to stop obviously they're not going to disrupt the other traffic so because they're out of the way yeah I, I need to add in something else because there's that's so much there's so many people trying to get through there so I'll just add this like this okay so that's okay so this one definitely needs more in this area let's have a look at this one where is it Okay, so there's these ones, these ones here, so we could add in some kind of pathway connection there. Uh, there's one up here, so this, this one isn't too bad by the looks of it. What about over here? Hardly anyone over here, so that's alright. And then here, we can add in some kind of pathways through here, because it's... These bus stops look really, really out of place, like, and if we add a connection here, directly to the bus stop, it might actually help. Um, encourage people to catch the bus. And then how does this one down here look? Okay, so it's causing a bit of an issue. See how they, the cars have to all wait behind the bus because the bus has to stop 
on the actual road so I might just upgrade that so that's something way down the list so that's telling us um, what we need to upgrade so let's just do that now while we think of it so so that's there's still plenty of lanes there's still two lanes so that's alright like that and so hopefully that's okay like that so so you see now the bus is completely off out of the way so it's not going to disrupt the traffic and I don't know why the cars are driving in the bus or taxi lane okay there they go they're moving out and then these bus lines they're saying they're not connected but they'll fix themselves up in a minute okay so let's have a look at these ones where is it these ones through here are they still really okay they're really really busy so we might actually add just a couple more buses for this one so there's already seven so let's take it up to 12 13 12 okay and uh, we'll just let it run for a while and see if it becomes really really busy or if it's going to reduce itself maybe there's just a huge influx because it's the first bus trip and um, I'm going to add in which one is it this large Avenue because I want this road to only be for like the residents in this area so so if I just go like that it's not really showing that it's a huge capacity road so it's hopefully not going to encourage all of the like the huge trucks to use this area so I'll upgrade that like that so a bit of a nice boulevard I might fill in this area as well I might just upgrade this whole area just to make it look a little bit more fancy I don't know why this one raised off the ground a little bit so maybe I'll just leave that one for now because the comparison between them like if you go like that it looks a little funny like why is this one like that and then this one's like that so I might just actually I might just put it as grass there we go at least that's something so let's have a look at where we need to add in pathway connections just to help them get to uh, the buses and then also just getting them to wherever because right now the only way they can get to places is through like these little connections here and so that's really really restricting them you want to have as many different options to getting to places as possible so they can really spread out so obviously I'm going to put one from just from here to here so there's a bus stop where is it is there a bus stop here somewhere no but I'm still going to add in a little pathway just like that then see this these guys are really close to this road so why not just add in a connection through here like that and yes I demolished them but that's okay and then these guys through here need a connection just like that I can't really see it okay there we go another one here I usually try to add the pathways at the intersections because there's already the crossings like that so and then this one here I might just add it like that and then kind of just like that and you guys always ask me why I add in the pathway like that to make it bigger um, so like I said it's literally just to make the pathway look bigger it's just to make it just to make it look a little bit more fancy I guess so it doesn't really have any value but um, if there's a lot of people using this area I just like to have more connections because sometimes like as a pedestrian you don't really want to walk really close to the road so that's that's all that I'm doing with that um, where else can we add pathways so oh yeah through here so if we can fit one through here without demolishing anyone that would be really good like that good and the there's a gap there because I had to use the cement mod because some of these houses they don't have any connection if I go like that so this one has no cement connection so I just I was just putting in down I was putting down the cement just so it looks like they have some kind of connection so I might actually just drag it like that so anyway that's not important so let's add in more pathway connections so pathways are actually really really important so you want to just it's just encouraging more walking pretty much so can I get one through here there we go and then if there's more walking obviously there's going to be less traffic coming through so um, and then less traffic, everyone's more happy, everyone gets what they want. If you have more traffic, obviously it's going to start causing a whole lot of issues for your whole city. So I'm just adding some more trees just to make it blend in a little bit. So, okay, where else, where else?
So this, so far this part is good. So let's have a look down here a little bit further. Added a connection there. Okay, this this area here. So this road is really close to this main road here. So we might just add in a little pathway. I can't really see. Okay, so there we go. The one little pathway through there. Same for this part here as well. So we're connected up to this existing crossing. Look like that. Can't really see it. I want to just remove those trees so we can see like that. And then, why not just add one going along here as well? So straight up through there. I can't really see, but it's connected like that. So connected, connected. So this one's connected to the bus stop, so that one's really good. And then I might add in a connection up here as well, like that. So, and then same for this part here. If I can just slip one, can I get one through here? No, okay, I have to demolish this, this house. So it's just connecting up to the existing uh, intersection and then, and then there's also shops. So this one's going to be really valuable because they want to get to the shops. Because without that connection and this connection, they, where would they have to go? They'd have to walk all the way down here, walk all the way up along here, all the way up here, all the way just to get there. So just adding more connections, making more options for them to get from one place to the other. And then same for this one here. So instead of having to walk all the way down the street, they can just walk straight across right there. This one here, it's a little bit steep, so I'm not going to bother, but I might just connect it through there like that. Um, I feel like maybe I can put in a bit of a side ankle walkway, so maybe, let's see, is that ugly? That's a little ugly. Okay, so this one is a little bit steep, but um, it's all I could do. I didn't want to add in, like, I could do a really steep one, we could pretend it's a staircase, but that's okay. And I don't know if you guys saw, but a person actually used it as soon as I put it down. So this one's quite valuable valuable because it's connecting this whole area directly to this whole commercial area, and also to this area as well if they really want to walk just that little bit extra further. Um, this connection here, I, I used this road because just something different, I didn't want them to... I mean, they can still turn, but I just wanted a different type of look. But I now, now that I look at it, I realize they can't actually walk from here to this side. So I might actually remove that. So see, now that I'm doing the pathways, you start to notice what you need to upgrade. There we go. So now they can just walk straight across there. But I might remove that light, just like that. So that's just easing the congestion, if there's any. Okay, let's have a look. Pathways again, where else? Uh, yes, uh, this one here. This one's really bushy, so I might just add in a little bit more space for them to stand. Like, like that. And then, like that. Yeah, so that's just creating more space for them to stand. I might just do the same for this side as well, and then create a direct walkway straight up through there, like that. See, look, the person uses it straight away, so it's good. Okay, so that's pretty much all of the pathway connections, I think. The only other thing I might do is create just like a pathway that goes along around here, maybe. And then it goes over the, the entrance or the exit ramp, and then al along this way. Actually, I might add in one that goes underneath the highway, because it's creating a real rip between the two areas. It's making this area seem really really far away so we might do that now just quickly but it'll probably have to be really high because of the the monorail there. So I'm just doing the simple design straight over like that doing the end shape just like that. And then the leg disappears but that's alright. Okay, whether or not people will use that, I'm not really sure, but it's there. Okay, there's one person using it straight away, so that's a good sign. Um, I didn't really know where to connect it, so I just put it there, going to this neighborhood. I'm not really sure if that's the best option, but... Okay, so first... So following the list, the tips that I first mentioned, so we've done the public transport, we've done the pathway, so now let's add in just some little commercial areas near the bus stops, because... Obviously, there's going to be so many people near the bus stop, so that's going to be probably good for business. But this this area here, probably not going to because this is pretty much all 
res residential, so I'm not really going to add in anything there, but maybe up here where there's a little bit of space, like this one here, because this one seems like it's very, it's like there's nothing here, so let's just add in just a couple of little shops just to liven up the area. Okay, so this this one here was pretty much this. Oh my god, there's so many people. But this one here, it's um, it might give it might have a feeling of being really remote because there's just so many trees. So I think adding in a couple of shops will probably make them feel more safe, just because there's going to be people around uh, in the shops just looking around. So, and then the same for this one up here as well. So they're only the small shops. They're only one square, but um, it's better than nothing it just creates a just a bit more of an atmosphere I guess in terms of adding in more commercial I think that's pretty much all I want to do because like I've added in a lot already but adding in just these little ones like this it's probably really beneficial just because it's making it a lot closer to where where the residents live already so I might actually add in just a couple like maybe two little uh, squares right there um, if there's anywhere else I could maybe fit in, okay, they need something, okay, so I can put one, can I put one there? How about there? No, not there, um, maybe not, but I feel like I should, okay, maybe, maybe right here, right in front of this bus stop, so like that, um, and then maybe there as well, so that's just creating like a little, almost corner shop stall type place, so, and then other than that, I might just add in a quick, some quick part, um, some leisure options, options. So we already have this one here, but I might just add in a couple more, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to add in some other parks just to fill it in a little bit more, give a bit more variety. So. I might add in a little park, uh, yeah, a park just in front of this bus stop here. And I know it demolished all of those um, buildings, but I'm just going to. That, I mean, they'll rebuild in a second. I'm just going to drag that across, like. Actually, no, I like to like that because it's in the center, so. I might just. Uh, uh, here we go. Here's a good chance to add in some, some shops while they're gone. Just like that. They'll, they'll build in. It looks a little bit bare right now, but they'll build in in a second. And, um,. So let's have a look. How does the leisure look now? So it's looking a lot better. I guess these areas here need something. I wish it knew the cemetery was kind of like a park or something. But um, let's just add in a basketball court on this corner. Okay. So they so they're pretty happy. These guys, I'm not really too concerned. I mean, the industrial, I'm not really concerned about. But I might add in a little plaza for this area here for the the office space, just in the middle like that. And then those guys will rebuild around it. So, okay, let's have a final look. So it's looking better. I'm mostly concerned about the residential colors. So I want them to pretty much be happy. So let's have a look at down here. You can see, okay, it's going down slowly. So that's good. What about down here? How many people? Still 13,000 people. I don't know why there's so many. Okay, this one here, I'm not sure why there's so many here. I really don't know. That's really strange why this particular area, there's just so many. I mean, the area isn't that huge either, so... I mean, and the train is literally right there, so... Hmm. I don't know. That's, that's very strange. Okay, so now that we've pretty much followed all of those tips so first was the public transport which we've done uh, pathway connections which we've pretty much done in this we did in this whole area so let's have a look at here okay there's a couple of people using it so that's good um, and then we added in some commercial so from where we put in the pathways and the bus stops so that tells us where we want to put in more commercial and then we upgraded some roads so we think we upgraded these ones we upgraded this one here um, upgraded this one 
and I think there was somewhere else, but I can't remember. And then from that, let's have a look at if there's any really heavy traffic. So, not really. So, it, I mean, the roundabouts, yeah, because they have to slow down, they're going to wait a little bit. But other than that, I think it's okay. What's going on here are the traffic lights. So, I might just remove the traffic light and then add in this sign so they have to give way to the cars on the main road. So, that should ease up that area right there. Um, roundabout's fine. This area I'm not going to worry about because it's just busy in general. And, yeah, so... And I think this one's busy because there's buses going up through there. And probably because of this um, train crossing right there. So, so since this area, it's not too bad. Like, there's a little bit of noise from this train. But there's quite a lot of trees. And if with the new DLC coming... Oh my god, there's so many people. But with the new DLC, the park life, the, the trees will actually start to act as a sound barrier, um, which is what I've really been asking for for so long. Like, and I, I don't know if they got that from me or I don't know, but it's just a, like finally they added in because we've been waiting so long for this. And um, I actually did that whole video about if the trees act as a sound barrier, which they don't, by the way. But um, so I'm sure once the trees act as a sound barrier, this whole red area will go right down. And I'm honestly not happy with how <laughs> I just added in this train right here, right next to the cemetery. So, and I actually called it the, I'm going to call it the cemetery station, if I spell it right. Because it's just, I don't know, it's just like, I wouldn't want to be there at night, to be honest. That would be really creepy. I should have added it onto the other side. I, I'm not going to do it now because the terrain is actually a lot higher, so I'm not really going to bother. So... I don't know, they'll just have to get over that. I wouldn't want to live there either, but... So I added in that connection there, and um, there's one connection there to that road, so that's fine. Don't really need to add in any connection up here because there's not really anything in that area. So in terms of other noise pollution, there's not really any issues. It's not really affecting them too bad. What's going on here? Okay, there's a shop there, but that's okay. So I'm actually going to let the game run for a couple of minutes. Um, and I, I just want to see if this traffic, uh, if these, am the, I just want to see if these amounts of people go away, because I don't know why there's really just so many people. Maybe I need to add in a couple more buses, so we'll go up to 15, 16. Okay, and um, actually, let's have a look quickly. 30, 30. So there's all the buses are full. So I don't know why there's just so many people here, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna let it run for a couple of minutes, and I'll be back, and we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so while I'm waiting for this area to do whatever it's doing, like I want to see if it reduces the amount of people, I'm going to just fill in this whole area with a park. So, I mean, there's already these existing facilities here, like these are leisure, these are leisure uh, facilities right here. So I might demolish this road here, um, maybe this one here as well. And this will all be a, like a nice huge park. And then I'll add in some parks, uh, some pathways through here, just to make it a little bit more, kind of like this area, a little bit more manicured. Um, because it there's not really that much going on in this whole area. It's a very crazy looking area So while that's while the buses are doing their thing I will do this and I'll, I'll be back once I've finished it Okay guys, so that is what I wanted to do for that. It's just a very generic park um, a lot of green space open green space I should say um, people are using it already a couple of seating areas. Where are they this area here? I, I like this building in particular because I just imagine it as like a converted industrial building, so that's why I added like these tables here, so you can pre pretend it's like a cafe area in the park. So I, I just like that look, and um, yeah, so it's just open green space because it was really just an empty space that wasn't really used, and I just added a pathway here just to make it look like something at all. Okay, so I've been building that for probably what ten minutes. Um, so let's have a look now. Okay, <laughs> there's still a lot of people. I do not know why there is, there's so many. I don't know why there's so many right here, but let's have a look down at the next one. Okay, there's a lot of people right here as well. So... Okay, I guess it's time to upgrade it to another type of public transport. Um, so maybe a tram through this... Maybe a tram along here. And... But I don't know if I want to put a tram there because 
it's just such an awkward place. Or oh, I could put the tram along here, but is the tram going to cause noise pollution? Is it going to cause any issues? So, um, let's have a look. Is there any like tram slash bus line, <laughs> four lane bus? Got the tram. Two lane road with dedicated tram. Mm. I just don't know, because if I do the tram, where can it go? It can go... I think my original plan was to bring it up through here, up into the airport. But then I need somewhere for the tram to turn around, and it's just a m bit of a, a mess. So where are all the buses? So there's bus there, because I remember I put on like 15 buses or something. So I can upgrade it to 20. There we go. <laughs> like... Like how many buses is it going to take for this actual bus route to be okay because I can just keep adding more buses or I can add a tram I can maybe download buses with a bigger capacity I think this video is long enough so I might save that for another day because I've covered a lot of what I wanted to do in this episode and um, I don't know doesn't this area just look nice there's like so much so much greenery it's really wavy it's just different type of look compared to like this one here which is very generic so maybe i'll continue this in another video um thank you guys for everyone who left a suggestion of what i should work on in my next videos um so if you want to leave a suggestion you can go over to the i think it's the community tab on my um my home youtube page and you can leave a suggestion there or you can type a suggestion down below and um, i'll compile them all and i might do a poll uh, very soon so keep a look out for that and yeah so thank you guys for watching um and i hope you guys enjoyed bye for now